after tanks, what next on the military bandwagon from NATO into Ukraine? More tanks for a start, because not even those two battalions of 8200 a Leopard 2 tanks that Germany is now raising, not all the tanks uh, presently on offer from other European countries will be enough for Ukraine. Ukraine has spoken of a need of about 300 or so tanks. Now there's talk of 400, but that is not all that Ukraine needs. Could it be fighter aircraft next, or even the ultimate NATO involvement, NATO boots on the ground? Now that last does not look likely at all. The US and its NATO allies are not preparing to lose lives in Ukraine, but fighter jets could potentially be an option. Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov has said that fighter jets are very much on his wish list. US Deputy National Security Advisor John Finer says they are not ruled out. He has mentioned particularly F-16s. Lockheed Martin that manufactures F-16s has spoken of third-party transfers that are possible with upgrades. The Netherlands, for instance, has said that there is no taboo on supply of its F-16s uh, and uh, plenty of F-16s are of course around as they begin to get phased out by the F-35. Military supplies to Ukraine have moved on from shoulder-mounted rockets to sophisticated javelins, then the HIMARS missile system and then to more and more uh, advanced air defense systems such as NASAMs, now Patriots. The US had said no to Patriots, those are going in. The US had said no to tanks, those are now going in. The line that gets drawn keeps shifting in response to Ukraine's needs and the growing urgency of its needs to fight off the invasion. Just as Olaf Scholz has said that fighter jets are off the table and will stay off the table, but we've seen lots of these no's turning into yeses.